get ready for the full moon in the sign of Taurus the bull. This is an even closer supermoon than the one we had previously. Uh, we're getting a lot of them close together. But again, this one's closer, so it's going to be even more spectacular, and it's going to be even more potent. So you're going to feel the energies of it more strongly than the one that was uh, that occurred a few a few weeks ago. Now, this super moon again, it's in the sign of Taurus the Bull, and this full moon evokes the archangel Gabriel very powerfully with potent seeds of light from a bright super moon coming yet even closer again illuminating the earth with the moonbeams and the seeds of the moonlight that is going to affect the natural everybody's natural second house of money and possessions through a vibration of frequencies that are going to ignite the divine tone of Taurus which is I have now, I have is the one that is in alignment with the bull. That has the same type of frequencies with the, and the same types of attributes as the sign of Taurus. The lunar bull beams moonlight upon the zodiac angel Asmodel's realm, giving forth much clout from the freedom and from the beauty of willpower given forth from the kingdom of the planet Venus that rules over Taurus. Okay, now the moon does exalt in Taurus. So this is very important. With Luna finding its exaltation in the sign of the bull, that brings a celebration and an enthusiasm of very sublime Venusian energies and the personality of the Venusian signs. And, and that's going to affect Taurus, obviously, but also it'll affect Libra, that's also ruled by Taurus. So it, it'll affect Taurus mostly, but also Libra will be uh, increasingly affected. And it's good for people to know where their moon sign is and where their Venus is located. So where is the planet Venus located in your chart? Now, personalities that are Venusian in nature are going to overcome all things when applied with love and compassion towards creatures that are great, small, and in between. Acquiring all the vast storehouses of riches comes through Venusian sensibilities during the sociably piquant but free-thinking feature of the divine face of the universal gemstone reflecting a light principle known as the God of love with his adoration expressed through archetypes of desire. In a world full of self-love through ego expansion, it's only through our understanding of the various aspects of God through Kabbalah that we are able to reconcile the seemingly diverse characteristics of the deity presented in scripture. Without the knowledge of Kabbalistic teachings, humanity is doomed to destroy itself due to apparent contradictory statements, laws, and statutes found in the sacred texts of all the, not only the main Abrahamic religions, but also the, the texts of some of the more, I, won't, I don't want to say Eastern because a lot of the Abrahamic religions are Eastern, but that's more Middle Eastern, Far Eastern, those types of Taoism and Shinto Buddhism, although Buddhism comes from India originally, Taoism is very, very much the, the religion that is more native to the Far East. Taoism is a very important thing to understand, and it's actually right in alignment with Kabbalah. So it's interesting to, to note that although these things may seem very different, actually anything that is talking about the science of spirituality 
and the science of our experience here on earth, life and death and all of that, and why we're here and what we're doing and everything that explains it is all similar. It's all Kabbalah, it's all Taoism, it's all pretty much the same thing. It's just people use different languages to describe the same thing. Now, so again, these, these more Eastern texts also contain a lot of this information. However, now at this point, when we're armed with the holy teachings and the books that we, that we strive to study, uh, in, in, in the, what I've studied, although I've studied the Tao a bit too, but when I've studied the Zohar and the Sefer Yetzirah and the Babylonian Talmud, we're able to understand the purpose of the various organs of the Godhead called Adam Kadmon, through which we are able to diagnose treat and ameliorate problems both within one's sphere of sensation and throughout even into the perimeter of the monad of the individual. Keep in mind that the New Testament seems as silly to adherence of the Old Testament. This is very important. As the Klingon Bible seems to today's modern Christian. Understand that. Understand that to, to those who are, who are more orthodox uh, Jews, for example, and even Reformed Jews, they, may f they, they did feel at one point, and maybe even a little bit now, that the New Testament is as silly as modern Christians think the Klingon Bible is. So you need to understand that. Then you'll understand why people feel disrespected and why people might act funny because if you think something silly and you don't respect it people get very angry because people want respect but respects a something that everybody has to give and formality helps using formality does help so watch your p's and q's during this super moon full moon in taurus the bull now, one must also heed the caveat that very real wars were fought over the writers of the New Testament demanding that their spiritual experiences be taken seriously to thus be included in canonization. We are in a similar situation now with a great preponderance of spiritual varietals taught by continuously multiplying religious faiths produced from schisms of one's stable spiritual or religious sects. Let us look now at two seemingly contradictory scriptures, first from the Old Testament, the latter from the New Testament. The first one is Genesis 9, 5 to 6. For I will require the blood of your lives at the hand of every beast and at the hand of man. At the hand of every man and of his brother will I require the life of man. Consider 1 John 4, 8. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is charity. This supermoon in the sign of Taurus the bull possessing the divine tone of I have during a full moon will shine light upon the realm of the natural second house that deals with how much money you have stored up and how much property and possessions you own. It's all about ownership and possessions the accumulation of wealth during this time it'll be it'll be much much uh, it'll be enhanced this this ability to acquire wealth okay now concerns about how you plan to accumulate wealth in the future are forthcoming during this transit being more important than seeking the approval of others this transit affects everyone, so be sure to study up on how to become a good negotiator so that you may participate in the global marketplace. This is going to be very, very important. 
we do teach classes on the magic of money. So you really should contact us at www.readingsbyrosemary.com to get signed up for this very timely and important class, especially before this event. It's filling up fast, so make sure to get your seat. Now, individuals vigilantly waiting and watching for the return of the awakened one, who is the Christ, are sure to do well because they being that they have actually prepared for for this event and they they continue to stay in a constant state of awareness full moons and especially this very close super moon in the sign of Taurus begin to bring to the forefront the fruits of what was previously planted during the phases of the dark moons these lunar phases are often mis represented, misaligned, and misinterpreted by religious and spiritual systems based solely upon patriarchal world views. We read in the epistle of St. Paul to the Ephesians in chapter 6, verse 18, by all prayer and supplication, praying at all times in the spirit and in the same watching with all instance and supplication for all the saints. Astrology, soothsaying, and enchanters sanctioned by the power of the holy gods are all clearly encouraged in the Bible. Consider the following scripture, Daniel 5.11. There is a man in thy kingdom that hath the spirit of the holy gods in him, and in the days of thy father knowledge and wisdom were found in him for King Nebuchadnezzar thy father appointed him prince of the wise men enchanters Chaldeans and soothsayers thy father I say O king Rosicrucian Kabbalah assigns the Venus aspect to the Sephira of Netzach again Venus is the ruler of Taurus, Taurus being the nighttime abode of the planet Venus and Libra being the daytime abode of the planet Venus. So regarding Venus, it's assigned to the Sefer of Netzach in Kabbalah and the god name Yud Hevavhe Zabaoth or Yahweh Sabaoth. Now the meaning of this Sefer is akin to the Greek goddess Aphrodite and the archangel Hanael is victory. This is the place of the beautiful, animalistic woman who is in tune with her own physical and sexual nature where she knows no separation from what is corporeal and what is spiritual. There's no difference to the Venusian aspect, to the Sefer of Netzach. She does what her instincts dictate rather than attempting to follow what she considers to be unnatural man-made laws that attempt to instill what human law considers ethical or moral. The test will now come as to whether or not she is able to govern her subjects while at the same time allowing them to be their own person authorized to live their own sovereign lives. Love is the attribute here that must be used in the presence of mistrust. One must not be gullible, but also one must become as a little child to enter God's abode. Not childish, childlike. Let's uh, look now at the Gospel of St. Matthew 18, verses 3 to 6, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you be converted and become as little children, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, he is the greater in the kingdom of heaven, and he that shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me, but he that shall scandalize one of these little ones that believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone should be hanged about his neck and that he should be drowned in the depth of 
the sea. The crops born of a full moon in Taurus grant to you the qualities of becoming you most abundant and self that is more richly endowed by all the deep inner value you have hidden within, yes, even imprisoned inside your very soul. It's, it's, it's imprisoned deep down inside you. It, you can feel like when, when St. Paul says that, that he's a prisoner of Christ Jesus, our Lord. So, you're, again, your very soul becomes in prison. Now, many are told they lack true worth in society at large, but these shall find strength and riches in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Now, pretentiousness becomes fashionable, and get this, during this lunar phase, because the time to show what you've got thereby bestows your great gifts to the world at large. Cash monies, possessions, and properties are the name of the game right now, so put your cards on the table and play the game to win. We assure you, you'll fit right in. Say goodbye to poverty and self-pity because the new eon of Horus and the age of Aquarius are now fully established, bringing us new wealth through technologies that will intertwine with all facets of your life. There's a lot to look forward to with lots of money to be made if you are skilled in the right techniques of money magic. The Archangel Gabriel can be used for projective invocations to emanate from one's self or invocations or evocations pushing out into the sphere of sensation of the other for projection during a full moon phase if the magus wishes the experience of an ordeal. Such a purposeful test is in actuality emerging between the magus and his or her own self or your higher self or your, your holy guardian angel to conquer her or himself within a, attainment and by attaining the attributes of victory, beauty, and desire with an amazing ability to radiate light from the Creator through the qualities of the Sephirah of Netzach with Taurus being nighttime, again, the nighttime domicile of Venus. The attributes of desire are attained by using the gemstone of emerald. That's a very precious, wonderful gemstone the magical tool of St. Andrew's Cross, the Diagonal Cross, and the Choir of Angels known as the Elohim. The Zodiac Angel is Asmodel, specifically used for the astrological sign of Taurus the Bull, which is lucky, productive, yet stubborn in nature due to Venus associations that rule over the sign resulting from air of earth frequencies or described as the air angel of the earth realm. Now for your cosmological event correspondences, we've got the, uh, again, the, the full moon, the super moon, this closest super moon, and in the sign, most potent in the sign of Taurus the bull. A full moon ingress, the sign of Taurus, brings forth fruits of creature comforts. Sticking to what is tried and true, as well as great endurance, thus proven which may be used for either the invocation or evocation of exhilarating energies or magical currents that when applied with self-knowledge and a resilience result in glorious outcomes. This cosmological event is going to be able to help you to choose your purpose. Contact us at www.readingsbyrosemary.com for classes and how to attain knowledge and conversation with your holy guardian angel as well as our Healing Wings of Light seminar. Remember that because again some of these other classes that we're having on Money Magic are filling up very rapidly. The full moon is a time when the Archangel Gabriel can use his projective energies and during this event, the supermoon event in Taurus is going to grin 
with a very chilly moonlight onto the frozen peaks at the top of the known world at his noble legions chosen for their strength, determination, and loyalty made ready for the all-too-soon Battle of Armageddon spoken of in the Abrahamic scriptures of the world's three main religions meant to free mankind from the confines of his own egotistic self-concern instilling adoration of what is higher than man and worth imperialistic impulse to conquer the profane towards the end of coaxing the world into its most perfect state. It's about alchemy. All right, the great work of alchemy. Archangelic frequencies now bring out what is your righteous philanthropic self so that you may serve the inhabitants of the realm of the natural second house of money and possessions in the sign of Taurus and the zodiac angel being Asmodel. Astrology angel magic evocations, evocation for the full moon in Taurus. We have the planetary archangel correspondences, the projective planetary angel during a full moon. Again, we're using the archangel Gabriel for this event. The perfume or incense oil that you can use is amber, an amber resin, that scent. You can also use for your gemstone, you can use moonstone. And the Hebrew letter is Gimel. The psalm is 119, verses 17 to 24. You may add Psalm 34, 3, for salvation from the Akkadian god Sin, using the now projective due to full moon. Remember, angelic emanation of the Hebrew letter Gimel, meaning camel, that appears above this verse, whose planetary angel is Gabriel, who rules over the changeable moon. For the zodiac angel correspondences, we have again the zodiac angel. The astrology correspondence is the angel Asmodel. Some say archangel, some say angel. Tomato, tomato, what does it matter? It's Asmodel. The tribe of Ephraim is the popular association for the tribe of Israel. The scent would be iris or saffron or myrrh. The Gemstone you can use is emerald. The Hebrew letter Valve. The Psalm 119 verses 41 to 48. Now it's important to note here that you can look at Genesis chapter 48 for scripture portions pertaining to the tribe of Ephraim. Also, there, there are magi or adepts who exist who associate the sign of Taurus with the tribe of Ishakar some with the tribe of Judah, while others assign the tribe of Reuben to the sign of the bull. Okay, now Genesis chapter 49 is used for uh, the main association for the tribes of Israel, but Ephraim and Manasseh require that you utilize chapter 48. Now, the, the adept should use the tribe of Israel correspondence that best represents his or her own expression a fixed earth for the invocation or the evocation of the natural uh, second house of money and possessions with the zodiac angel of Taurus who is Asmodel. Calls to the angelic realm should fill the adept sphere of sensation with the desired goal. Again, I use that term. This attribute is more important than following any prescribed or pre-prescribed instruction so tradition provides necessary as well as welcome structure to any system of Rosicrucian high magic performed. Now for Genesis 48.20, for the biblical association, we have the Dewey Rames Bible translation. And he blessed them at that time, saying, In thee shall Israel be blessed, and it shall be said, God do to thee as to Ephraim and as to Manasseh. And he set Ephraim before Manasseh. Now general biblical protection right, which you can use at any time for anything really. Uh, but we'd like to give this to you because sometimes people ask a lot for protection. So we're going to give you that. Of course, people want want love. You can use Song of Solomon for love magic. Now for uh, 
that verse for the protections. Romans chapter 6, verse 22 to 23, but now being made free from sin and become servants to God, you have your fruit unto sanctification and the end life everlasting for the wages of sin is death but the grace of God life everlasting in Christ Jesus our Lord remember that words have the power to heal as sure as any other form of medicinal elixir tincture or treatment attain the immortal universal soul by fulfilling the needs of the other with the highest good possible at every moment of choice and watch all other facets of your life bear fruit such as the tree of life most often associated with an olive tree which is an actual constellation found in the heavens mentioned in Revelation 22:2. in the midst of the street thereof and on both sides of the river was the tree of life bearing twelve fruits yielding its fruits every month and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of nations disclaimers in order here high magic can be dangerous this is intended exclusively for entertainment purposes thank you for joining us ladies and gentlemen join us again next time we'll see you soon Have it any way you want, you'll see. You can have it.